control, take up the blindfold. Pick up a book, read about stories that are told. Live in a Babylon, have you come figure your role? I'm a freedom fighter, can you hear it in my tone? Pick up after that. Nothing. Give me a John 16. Now, you may say, well, wait, what about all nations? What about all people? What about them? Do I, are all people here right now? Why are you asking that? Why is that in your mind? Because of him. Hold up the game. Hold up. That's why when we talk about our own people, we, we have what's called the delusion of inclusion. We want to include everybody else when it comes to our people. But guess what? Other than anybody else will exclude you. Everybody else will reject you. But you will allow everybody into your organizations. And then they infiltrate and destroy it. Like the Maroons. Made a treaty with the British. They established a treaty with the British to allow two white ambassadors to govern them and they can keep their independence. I'm going to say it again slow. The Maroons established a treaty with the British. And that treaty involved allowing two white ambassadors to govern them in order for them to maintain their independence. Are the, are the Maroons ruling now? Are they independent now? No, they're not. They're in the mountains living just like this. We were, we were there yesterday. We were up there. In the mountains living just like this. No independence. Nothing. Now, John 3, 16, please. The infamous John 3.16. John chapter 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life Now, in your mind you're saying that's everybody, right? Jump to verse 14, Numbers 21 verse 5 Let's see what world Now the key word in that verse is loved You know what loved means? It's a past tense God so loved them. So what world did he love in the past? That he gave his only begotten son to. God so loved the world. What world did God so love before? If I say to you, sister, let's say you have a daughter. And I say to you as a, as a mother, I love your daughter. That means in the past, you and your, me and your daughter were once what? Together. When I say I loved your daughter, that means you had a past relationship. God never had a relationship with all nations in the past. Never. Now, if you can show it in the Bible, I'll back down. I will allow you to speak on the mic and show me in the Bible where Moses gave his laws to all people on earth and called them his own people. Show it to me. I'm open, I'm open to suggestions. Read that. Read for John 3 verse 14. John chapter 3 verse 14. Look at this. This is Christ, a Jew, speaking to Nicodemus, a Jew. A conversation between two Jews. Two black men, your ancestors, are, are, are conversing. And Christ is going over the history of what took place regarding their history, these two Jews. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Now, Christ says to Nicodemus, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Are y'all familiar with that? The serpent in the wilderness? Come on, man. Come, come, sir. Come. It's Wayne. What that's talking about. Yes, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so shall the Son of Man be lifted up. So the serpent that was lifted up in the wilderness is symbolic of how Christ would have been crucified. Exactly. So now, let's see who that serpent was lifted up for. Very good, sir. Thank you very much. Let's see who that serpent, by through Moses, was lifted up for and to save who? Numbers, chapter 21, verse 5. And the people spake against God. And the people spake against God. And against Moses. And against Moses, his mediator. Wherefore, have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water. So Israel complained about God and Moses bringing them out of Egypt into the wilderness. They were complainers. Always. We. And our soul know this, this like bread. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people. And much people of Israel died. People of who? People of Israel died. He sent fiery serpents 
and much people means poisonous. He sent fiery serpents and they bit much people of who? Of who? Israelites. Thank you. Very good. They bit many people of Israel and they died. Let's be on. Therefore, the people came to Moses and said, the people of Israel came to Moses, we have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And Moses prayed for who? The children of Israel. Go ahead. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent. Make thee a what? Make thee a fiery serpent. And set it upon a pole. And do what? Set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, or whosoever, go ahead. When he looketh upon it, shall live. Shall live, shall be saved. From the what? From the point. So who was the serpent lifted up for? Who was the serpent lifted up for? Israelites. Israelites. Hope you're following. John 3, 14 again now. So now, Christ gave an analogy. He talked about how the serpent was lifted up for the children of when they got bit by the what? By the serpents. Go ahead. John 3, 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness for who? Go ahead. Even so, even so means just like Go ahead. Must the Son of Man be lifted up for who? For who? For Israel. See how clear that is? Continue. So the, so the context is the serpent was lifted up for the children of Israel, and likewise, for the same way, must Christ die on the cross, lifted up for the children of Israel. So let's just continue. That whosoever believeth in him, whosoever of who? The children of Israel. Back in verse 14. Should not perish, but have eternal life. But should live, like they did in the wilderness, and the serpents bit them. But upon the serpent, and they lived. Eternal life. Go ahead. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Who is Christ lifted up for? Israelites. See how easy that is? Y'all can't let this take it takes time because, hold it up again, hold it up again. Because you got this in the back of the mind. This is the roadblock in the mind. The master's like, no, no, I'm Jesus. He's not that for anybody. No. That's why I'm having a hard time. But Christ, the black Messiah, who was originally drawn, looking like this here. No, no, hold it up again. Looking like this here. That's how he was originally drawn. Because everyone knew at one time, before the whitewashing, that he looked like this. He looked like you, like us. He was our brother, our king, our savior. Like this, depicted like this. Okay? Now, give me, read on, read verse 17. Verse 17. For God sent not his son into the world. God sent not his son to die into the world of Israel, go ahead. To condemn the world, to destroy Israel, but that the world through him might be saved. Well, through him what? That the world through him might be saved. Well, through him what? Might be saved. That the world, the world through him might be saved. Romans 10 verse 2. What is the world you're probably referring to that you was hoping might be saved if they repent and keep the laws of God? What world could you be referring to that might be saved? Romans 10 verse 2. Romans chapter 10 verse 2. For I bear them record that they have the zeal. Romans 10 verse 1. Romans 10 verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. That they might be saved. That they might. Yes. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC 
will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube channels. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.